Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is HP Dash J3760. I'm going to show you how to scan a document from this printer. Okay, and this printer now both are connected to the same network to scan a, a document. Okay, what you need to do is you need to stick the document you want to scan on top of the scanner facing up. This printer hasn't got flat bell scanner so the scanner is underneath here okay so stick the document you want to scan on top of the scanner facing up okay now you go to the scanner from the print on the on your computer you will see scanner select scan and once you select scan you wait for it to be ready then the next thing you need to do is you need to select the document from the advanced preset if it's photo you want to scan, then you select photo. If it's document, make sure you select document and also the paper size is A4. Output, select color or gray. Output is color. Resolution is 300 dpi. You can change the resolution to 600 dpi, but 300 is is okay. 600 dpi tend to take a bit of a bit longer. Then the next you need to do is select scan and also make sure while you're selecting scan, make sure you put your hand here slightly so that this document will fit in smoothly. Okay, so now th this document is scanning. Here we go. So this is the document we scan and you can see it. Okay on the laptop if you want to scan the second one you need to click add select add i hope you can see what i'm doing okay if you want to scan the second one select add okay select add then you stick the second document you want to scan so stick the second document you want to scan on the scanner Okay, so remove the, this one and stick the second one, for instance. Okay, and you select scan on the computer. Okay, so make sure you select scan again. So select scan on the computer and make sure you are feeding the document. Then what you need to do then you look on the document if you are happy with it then you go ahead if you are not happy with it then you can delete particular one you are not happy with this last one if you are not happy with it then you can select replace okay so you can replace it and stick it do it again and make sure that everything so you can okay make sure that it's in properly and select scan and this document now is scanning Okay, so now we have two documents we scan. Okay, this document now, if you want to print it out, you can select print on underneath your computer. So, so many things you can do with this printer now. You can select print, you can save, you can share. So, to print the document, you need to select print. And the two documents are here, so it's getting ready. So, the next thing you need to do is you need to make sure you are selecting the correct printer so go to the printer settings and look for this printer which is hp dsj 3700 series so scroll down and look for hp 3700 series okay make sure you select the correct one then you wait for the printer to load for the document so the document is loaded then select print from here you can change the paper size photo size or any other thing you want to do select print this document now is printing out why the document is printing out 
the other thing i want to show you if you want to save this document you need to select save okay if you want to save it the sentence is applicable select save then you go and save it make sure you change it to pdf then you go and save it on your printer any then make sure you write name or anything you can remember to remember it okay then select save so this document now is saved on the document and it will show you the document is saved so now this document we sent to this printer is printed out okay can see that this is the document we scan both of them printed out in black and white and now we have saved this document if you want to share this document okay the next thing you need to do is the sentence is applicable select share if you want to share, send this to somebody via email then select share and also make sure it's basic pdf select share and this document is then it gives you the option for you to send it share with you can share this via microsoft team or email select email then the document is attached to my inbox then put the email address of the person you want to share this document with okay and select send if you put the email or the address of the person then you put the subject hi okay then type the information you want to send to the person then click send so this document now is sending via email okay you can see the document is sent so the, the other thing you need to do is you wait for this document then pretty much our job here so we, we are able now able to print save and share then you can also go to your email address and check for this document so the next thing to do is here we go the document just arrived inside my inbox click it open so this is the document we save and share to my inbox this is the document we scan printed it out and also send it sent it to my inbox from this inbox you want to print it out you can also select and print it out but this is the process how to do this how to scan the document print it out share this printer is nice economical and affordable let me know if there is any other thing you want me to show you how to use this printer and uh, just when you are scanning this document something that i notice is totally different to flat bell scanner you just need to make sure you fit in the document properly and facing up the information need to be up okay so if you have the information facing down you will not get anything so you need to make sure that the information is upwards okay and i like to put my hand on top of it just on top of the document so that you will and gently fit it in it will work okay thank you very much indeed guys and stay blessed like and share and subscribe you have the channel thank you